Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be looking back at my 2018 favorites. So, welcome to Vlogmas. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're experiencing this holiday season well. I feel like I'm kind of getting ready for Christmas. I don't know. But today I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at my 2018 favorites. For 2018, I didn't do like a yearly favorites. Instead, I did five product discoveries from the year that were like most important to me, if that makes sense. I wanted to choose five products that I had tried new in 2018 that really stuck out to me and were kind of like game changers in my makeup life. So I wanted to look back at the five products I picked kind of share with you if I still have them now, what my situation is, all that kind of stuff. So I did go in like descending or ascending order. I started with the fifth most important and then worked back to like my number one favorite. Um, I don't remember the exact order. I'm gonna try and remember, but let's jump in. I do know the first product I talked about was Luxie brushes. Uh, last year I got so many brushes from BoxyCharm, Luxie specifically. This year I feel like I haven't gotten quite as many, but I've gotten a few, but I've been okay with like not getting as many. I feel like I got so many last year. I know between the two Boxy Lux boxes, I got like a ton and just like another one of the boxes earlier in the year, I got like three at once, and so I just got so many last year, and I really liked them. It was my first time having Luxie brushes, and I enjoyed them so much. I think the quality is great, and I still feel the same. So I did want to pull out three brushes that have been kind of like my favorite through this year, and ones that I use all the time. The first one is the Precision Foundation Brush. This is great for liquid foundation. I use it for concealer as well. Actually, this last brush cycle where I've been like, since I washed them last, I've actually been using this for powder. So I've been using it to like set my under eyes, kind of set in the areas that I need to set. And I've been really enjoying it as well. I think it does a great job. Love this one. Another favorite is the Tapered Highlight Brush. I actually have two of these. Such a great highlighter brush. It's big enough to like diffuse highlight, but it's small enough to like get some precision. Really great. And then the other one I wanted to mention, this is actually a, this is actually one I got this year. This came in, I think May's box and it came with two other brushes. I don't even remember which ones they are, but this one is fantastic. This is the small contouring brush. And I don't use this for contouring, I use this for concealer. This is like one of my favorite concealer brushes. It's got enough movement to like blend really well, but enough density to make it like fast. And so I love it for under eye concealer, for face concealer. I can like dab at concealer to kind of add more coverage or like go in and blend to kind of like really blend things out. So this is my favorite. I still love Luxie, I think they're fantastic brushes. The next thing I talked about was the Smashbox Photo Focus Primer Water. That was another thing that I got from BoxyCharm and I got it in September. And then I have since used it all up and I have repurchased one. I repurchased this, I want to say like end of summer. This is the Photo Finish Aura Shield Primer Water. This was from like a limited edition Smashbox collection. I don't remember what, oh, The Hood Witch. It says it right on the top. They had a few different scents. This one is the Clary Sage and Tea. It smells really nice. It's a nice refreshing spray. I didn't even spray my face with that. Where is the nozzle? It smells nice though. So I <laughs> doesn't taste nice. Today I actually used this as a primer and also as a setting spray. Today I went in with like a really light finish of product. I don't have foundation on. I just have like some concealer and blended it out really well and set everything down with a powder. And this does a really great job for those kind of looks. I feel like it just adds a little bit of like stick to work things around. I, don't, I really like this. Enjoy it. I still love it. The thing I think I talked about next, but I'm not sure if it was in the right order, was the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, I really enjoyed the Glossier Boy Brow. I did finish that up at the beginning of this year 
and I have not repurchased it. I actually just put in a Glossier order, I actually just hauled it yesterday, and I debated on buying a new one, but I ended up just skipping it because I found a few products that I like just as much and one that I like even more this year. The first one is a product I don't have right now, but it's the ColourPop um, Brow Boss Gel. I really enjoy that. I actually had it in the clear shade, which I usually like a tinted brow gel, but at the time when I bought it, I think Ulta only carried the clear. I don't know if they carry the tinted ones anymore, but um, I, I had that earlier this year, really enjoyed it. And then recently I picked up the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This is kind of a similar product, like it's a little tiny wand. This one's actually bigger than the Glossier and the ColourPop wand. It's a little bit bigger, but still pretty tiny. This one is a tinted one. I have it in the shade Taupe, and it's a nice brow mascara. I think the Glossier one is better than this. I think the ColourPop one is like a direct competitor. So I like both of these, but the one that I think is even better is the Flower Beauty Bubble Brow. Um, I mentioned this a few times as of late. This is a fantastic product. It's a little bit of a trick to use. You have to get the brush wet and then you take it through the product and then brush it through your brows. But if you use this, it literally holds your brows in place all day. My brows are very thin. Um, I have thin hair everywhere, like my head, my arms, everywhere. My eyebrows are like little tiny, little sparse things and like super fine. And so even like the e.l.f. one, I feel like if I put it on at the beginning of the day, it looks good. But by the end of the day, it's kind of like drooping. This holds it in place so great. It makes my brows look more voluminous. It's just fantastic. So I actually like this better than the Glossier Boy Brow, which is why I didn't repurchase it. And then I think this is the next thing I talked about. And it wasn't this palette specifically, but more the product that's in it. This is just the only way I have this product. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Collection Palette. And I got this last spring. The products that I talked most about in that video were the bronzer and the blush. And both of these products are like standard in the collection. That highlight just fell out of the palette. Cool. I don't use that highlight, but now I have a fun mess to clean up. But the products I was most talking about were the bronzer and the blush. The bronzer is in the shade bronzer, and then the blush is in the shade natural glow, which is kind of like a peachy coral color. And I still love this. Like, this was sitting on top of my vanity the entire year until this last shot, my stash, where I put it away because I was using it all the time and I wanted to get use on some other things. I do love the highlight in here, I think it's really pretty. It does lean a little bit more glittery than my normal preference, but this is great. If I were to run through this bronzer, I would repurchase the regular bronzer. I think it's fantastic. And then my number one product discovery from 2018 was the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And this is another product that I still love. I love this. I actually haven't worn this recently. It's I've been kind of doing other things, and so I haven't worn this recently, but I still do love it. I repurchased this. This is my second tube of it, and it's fantastic. I have it in the shade Fair. It does provide quite a bit of coverage without looking cakey. It doesn't wear super long throughout the day, like especially I have oily skin, and so it can kind of like separate and come off. But I find if I go in with a really light hand, it adds just a touch of coverage and it lasts way longer throughout the day if I were to go in with like a full pump. So I usually go in with like a half a pump on my hand and then kind of like dot it around my face and then blend it, and then if I need more, then I'll go in with more, but typically about a half pump is good. So those were all of my top product discoveries from 2018. I still use most of them, besides the boy brow, and I just haven't repurchased that, and I'll probably use that again down the road, but for right now, I'm pretty content with the other brow products I have. But that was kind of fun to like take a look back on the 2018 products that I was loving. I will probably do this video again this year because I think it's kind of fun to take a look at like products that I discovered throughout the year 
whether it's a new product on the market, one that's been out for a long time, um, and just new to me, I think it's fun to take a look at products that I found in the year that have been like, great. If you have any products that you are just like over the moon about, I would love to hear about them down below. Make sure to leave those down there. I'd love to hear about them. I'd love to get a little conversation started. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.